I know, they threatened to sue me for writing about it. That's how crazy this place is. I, last I heard, it's still free to actually write, write things. I know, no, that's what I saw. Somebody came out talking about Chinese vodka. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, more seriously, I do try to hold them accountable. They're a good organization, but they send people that rape children in Central African Republic. It should be cleaned up. And you could do something. Just Google it. Do, do one like, do 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 a single act, and you're you'll be a hero. I know. A single act, though, even under another name. That's not that hard. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks. All right. It's all right. I'm 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 feeling okay. I'm, I'm second. I think this is Stephen Forbes. Steve Forbes has spoken at the United Nations. Yep, he's coming out. He's coming out. Let's ask him. Do you think the UN is doing a good job these days? No, it's just... (laughs) It's not that loaded. (laughs) It should be a simple answer. Well... Okay then, Stephen Forbes, even the man who just was receiving money to speak at a Chinese liquor event in the UN could not praise it because it's become a travesty. Antonio Guterres has turned it into a roach motel, a roach motel of war criminals. Wait, hang on, hang on. Is this a diplomat that we know? I don't think so. You've seen Stephen Forbes. When asked if the UN is doing a good job, Stephen Forbes laughed. Yes, he laughed. It was a, called a loaded question. We're gonna, we're going we, we, we will document. Oh, we've got some Uber action going on. It was a very polite question. Is the UN doing a good job? I'm not even asking. Are you? Do you have you heard of Englap Sang? Have you heard of Antonio Guterres and the China Energy Fund Committee? Do you know about cholera in Haiti? What about sexual abuse of people in Central African Republic? We just want to show you what's happening here at the United Nations. And we will show you. In fact, let's check it out. Uh, Steve Forbes. Steve Forbes. He's, uh, it's a magazine called Forbes Magazine. He's a bit over the hill, but he's still in the mix. <laughs> sure, no problem. Okay, then. He didn't know Steve Forbes. Steve Forbes is over the hill. Ban Ki Moon, he's for sale. Guterres, get him while he's hot before because he's going to be in jail soon because he's corrupt. What do you think of the UN? Doing a good job? How, where? What do you mean? Where are they doing a good job? Oh, in the Middle East? Oh, I don't. Yemen? I, I don't follow that stuff. But I'll tell you something. I thought you asked me about the building. Okay. The UN, I mean, for like a worldwide organization, they could spruce it up. Nice <laughs> good floors, carpet. <laughs> You're walking into a post office from the 70s. Yeah. I mean, spruce it up. That's a good it's point. A They're kind of retro. They're kind of retro, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, too much secure. <laughs> <laughs> that I agree. Okay, here we are. It's Saturday, January 12th. The UN, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. Why is it open? You know why? Because Antonio Guterres has put it up for sale. Antonio Guterres, the same Secretary General who hid his links to the China Energy Fund Committee, which bribed one PGA after another, has put the entire building up for sale. This is not... Now, I was told that it's not a UN event. I was invited to it. I wrote about it. And then, embarrassed, they ordered me to take down the article and threaten litigation. I asked Antonio Guterres' spokesman, Stefan Dujaric, what's the UN link? How much does the security get paid? No answers. No answers at all. So this is yet another example. This is the same UN, yes, the same UN, where Eng Lap Sang of Sun Canip Foundation purchased John Ash. John Ash, the Secretary General, accepted bags of cash inside the building from a Chinese businessman, based in Macau, whatever dis- distance that makes. And... John Ash was charged with a federal crime and then died when his weight system fell on his neck in his home. Since then, 
Patrick Ho of the China Energy Fund Committee, Patrick Ho, has been convicted of seven charges under the Federal Foreign Corrupt Practices Act and money laundering for bribing in the UN a number of PGAs. And yet, and yet, the same events, the same events take place entirely for sale. Now the question is, let's say the security officer, is he being paid by the UN? Is he being paid by an unnamed Chinese company? Nobody knows. We asked the spokespeople. Maybe what it takes is for the U.S. attorney to ask, who put the U.N. up for sale? Maybe that's the question. We'll see. Now, we've already received photographs from inside. Mr. Ban Ki-moon is in the house. Ban Ki-moon also sold the U.N. out, but not anywhere nearly as badly as Antonio Guterres. Nowhere near. And so we'll see. There was a conviction. A Chinese company paid bribes in the U.N., to three PGAs in a row. John Ash, maybe you've heard of him. He's dead now, but let's check it out. Now, the question was a simple one, a very simple one. Who's paying the security? The public? Is the public paying the security? Who's paying? Chinese businessmen? Nobody knows. <laughs> These guys are a private militia force for Antonio Guterres. Some of them may not even know that Antonio Guterres has his own Chinese business going on. Yes, Gobelkian Foundation tried to sell its oil company, Partex, to China Energy Fund Committee. Maybe they can get Ronald E. Dobbins to beat people up to make that one go away. In any event, this will be a series of broadcasts from the sinkhole of corruption that Antonio Guterres has turned the UN into. Yes, you've seen it here. Inner City Press covering the UN, seven counts of bribery that Guterres didn't act on because he has immunity. What do you think of the UN? Are they doing a good job? I don't know, but I got licked. <laughs> All right, you can get that anywhere, though. But made in China. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Well, what are you reporting on? I'm reporting on... Uh, actually, Chinese NGOs have, have paid bribes in the UN and offered weapons to dictators to kill people for oil in Chad. This world's going to shit. I know. That's, That's why, why you just drink and not give a fuck because you're all gonna die. <laughs> all right. We're I mean, kill each other. So I know. I but know. We're all the same. But you know, just check, check it out. Do one act to say like the UN shouldn't be supporting the sale of weapons to dictators do to kill they people. Support because they get money. They did. Yes, they do. That's usually what happens. I know, but they don't. I mean, maybe they should be smaller. Maybe they should be like purer. But it was interesting because of where we were at. They were talking about sustainability, I know. And culture, and the world being like together. I know. So there might be a part of it that's interested in that, but the bigger part is interested in money. Right. They talk that in sort of just a front for what they're actually doing. There are good. There are good groups in the world, but I'm not sure this is one of them. I hope so, though. They represent the world. I. Uh, yeah. <laughs> UN, please be good. <laughs> okay. That's good. I, I like your emo I like your, your thought of it. Just check. Just just whenever you have a spare moment, check it out. Okay. All right. I will, and I will be positive and hope for the best. Okay. I, it's you know, there definitely are good groups. I don't mean to. It's just a shame that anyone that says sustainability can get away with like taking bribes but to give weapons they, to. Maybe this like party that we went to is a small group that does believe in it. So no. Ban Ki Moon, what do you think of his speech? The what? The 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 former Secretary General. Oh yeah yeah. What did he What did he talk about? He did talk about like culture and like you know being together as one because we are all humans, doesn't matter where we're from. I think and he I, was paid to go to this event. Do you think so? I hope not. I think so. Oh my God. <laughs> Come maybe, on. I, maybe I'm naive and I really think right. that people do. The no, no, there are definitely good people. I'm not at all putting. Other, uh, yeah. There are good people. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he's one of them. All right. I covered him before. The current Secretary General, I want to tell you, is not one of them. Because he basically covered up bribery inside the United Nations by a, a company called China Energy Fund Committee, and they paid bribes to the, to the, the, the president of Chad, who's been a 30-year president. They offered him weapons in exchange for an oil deal, and they did it inside the UN. And when it was reported on, the UN's response was to try to throw the media that reported on it out. <laughs> I, I, it's not I with know. my world. So I know. No, I 
What's your world? Trend forecasting. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. what do you? What's the trend? What's happening? Sustainability, because we're all killing the world, so right. we're trying a way to find, you know, to like bring it back. Yeah. Or like save it, you know. Basically. I totally. I mean, like the, the the concept, I agree with. I just think that there's be as you. I'm sure you're aware. There are a lot of people trying to like I latch mean, on to that, and, and you don't want to be. It's almost like there's the people who want right. to do it, and there's the people who only think about the bad right. and money and right. like all of that stuff. So you know. It's but is it? I mean, is it a waste of time trying to root them out, or you, you just sort of ignore them and just try to keep? Them? I mean, I think if you really believe in something, then you'll go for it. You know, right. like I personally believe. Yes, I also I believe that you know it's shit that what's happening. Like you know, people are like taking advantage of everything, not caring. But I also believe there are the few of us who really yeah. think that we can turn it around and you know be sustainable and help the world so it's almost like that little percent that can grow to a bigger percent and that can really help no, make um, this world a better place i agree know? but i i'm just always afraid that the, the the people that are like a lot of these movements get co-opted by people that have totally different agendas so it's important that you don't want to be totally negative and saying like you suck you suck you yeah, suck yeah. but it's important that like i mean i'm saying like the un should be good it is good at the same time, like when they when they're, when they're like pitching weapons to dictators, somebody has to say that's bad. Like, yeah, no, I agree. Just I mean, using I the word sustainable. Don't know about the bad stuff, right. you know, but maybe you know more than I do. No, no I'm not trying you to. Know, yeah. You know, so it's like I'm just hoping. But that, no, you're. I, I like I'm your energy. Like, just, just, just check it out. Just, I'm just a very positive person. Well, it's good. That, you know, the future for my kids, the future for us, the yeah. future for our lives, I, I, the future for I the hope planet, so too. Will be yeah. Better yeah, I agree. I agree. You check out the UN. Just check out the good and the bad, because it's, it's not. It's neither all good nor all yeah, bad. Yeah, but exactly. the bad part of it needs to be called out. Because and that's the thing. We all have to be like you know very informative about what's happening. Yeah. Like, maybe have one point of view. Right. No, no, no. Exactly. Yeah. But I don't know so much. Right. Totally. But you can do it. Just do a little. Five minutes a day, you, know, you will know. Will. All right. Okay, thank Thanks you so, so much. No, thank you. Thank I really you. appreciate it. You too. All right. And okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so there you heard it. Well, they Googled the party, only the Inner City Press came up because you know what? The UN is corrupt. <laughs>